In this video, I make calzones on my Kamado with my new Canon. Want to see more? Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome back. So I finally got a new camera for shooting YouTube videos with. This is my Canon EOS 80D. I just got it. It took me a while to justify the expense because I've been using my old Nikon D5100 of which you're watching through the lens of right now. It worked fine uh, but it had some drawbacks. What I wanted to do was do a test shoot and do a test video for my own purposes to learn how to use the camera and uh, learn the ropes of it basically and the footage came out fairly well so I thought I'd throw this video together to show you what I did and what I did is I made a calzone on my Kamado with a cannon with some fresh garden herbs uh, my end of summer harvest I had some leftover tomatoes and peppers and herbs and things so I thought I'd put them all together make this test video it turned out well enough I thought I'd share it with you so if you want to see more about it stick around I'm going to use the tomatoes you see here. These are from my garden. Just a variety of San Marzano's and Better Boys and beef steaks and yellow uh, pear-shaped tomatoes. It's about what's left of my garden. It's the end of the season, basically. So I'm going to turn this all into a sauce. And for my own personal calzone, I'm going to use these peppers I also grew from uh, pots in my patio. And I have some Fresnos, I got some ripe Anaheims, and a single Melrose pepper. So a little bit of sweet, with a little bit of medium heat mixed in there, and uh, this is going to be good. And a bunch of fresh basil, freshly cut off my plant. A handful of fresh oregano, cut right off the plant too. Before I want to use these tomatoes, I want to take the skins off of them, or at least most of them, at least, as much as possible. So what I went ahead and done off camera is take these tomatoes and cut off the tops and put little uh, crisscrosses on the bottom with a knife to uh, start peeling the skin. Uh, I did all the larger pieces, like even uh, this one even, but uh, for these small pear tomatoes, it's, it's, it's not worth the hassle. So unfortunately, skins will still go in for some of these, but uh, other than that, we are ready for the next step. I have some boiling water on one side and an ice water bath on the other. I'm going to start taking these tomatoes which have already been slit uh, and, and, uh, and cored basically and drop a few in at a time for about a half a minute to a minute until the skin starts to peel. And as they start to peel like this, let's move them to the ice bath. Okay. While those cool, I'm going to throw in some more. Okay, now I'm going to peel them. These come off just like that, basically. See? I mean, the, they just basically fall right off. Now I've emptied the pan and I have some heat applied to it. I'm going to add some olive oil just as a base layer for the tomatoes. And I'm going to start throwing the tomatoes in. So I threw in the extra little paired ones in there now, and I'm going to let this cook over some heat for a while. You can see these are kind of hard because they're raw. So I'm going to go ahead and cover them up over some heat and let them soften up for a bit. Now it's starting to release their juices, see? And they're starting to soften up like this. So just going to keep at it for a while until it all breaks down and all mushes up into a nice pasty sauce. All right, that's more like it. So mostly broken up, still a few little hard spots in there, but it's pretty much yielded all its juice it's going to yield. Continue softening. I toss a handful of the herbs in there. As well as a couple or a few cloves of garlic. Small amount of pepper. And a little bit of salt. Just throw that all in there. Uh, let that simmer some more. All right, now it's been a while. It's cooked down real nice, starting to thicken up. It's about right for what I want it to be. I'm gonna give it a little taste. It's 
pretty good, but it needs a little bit more salt. If you're curious or wanting to know what my dough recipe is, you're in luck. I've already done a recipe video on this for my thin crust pizza dough recipe a while back. I'll put a link in the video description down below and in the cards up here. And as far as the cheese blend, the same thing. I have a short video on how I formulate cheese blends. But in this video, in this context for these calzones, I use the blend of Scamorza, Parmesan, and Romano. Put on some sauce here. Get some peppers. Pepperoni in there. And there you have it, Calzones on a Kamado, filmed with a cannon. I should probably call this video Cannons, Kamados, and Calzones, I guess, something like that, right? Anyway, if you're a new viewer, please subscribe. There's a link in here somewhere on the channel to click on. If, you're, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments down below. And other than that, I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on my YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe.